Hello, my name is Hallie and I'm here to show you that when you're creating zombie makeup for Halloween, usually when you're thinking about, oh my gosh, I have to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on all sorts of like crazy blood and, you know, this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put this away and I'm going to show you that you can create a zombie makeup with just using, you know, cosmetic makeup. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining me here in my bathroom. My name is Hallie and let's get going. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you is that um, you can use, um, I have toilet paper, I have cotton balls, I have Q-tips, but the main ingredients that I'm going to be using today are my fingertips. Um, I'm going to be applying my makeup with my makeup brushes, but um, I'm going to also be using my fingers for a lot of blending. So, um, you're going to be wanting to use um, the cream type makeup. Um, I mean, not cream, I have cream, like cream blending, but I have also powder, but I mean the color cream. So those are gonna be your first colors that you're gonna wanna have. So also what you'll want is some sort of green. Um, these kinds of like seafoam green, um, they come in, what I really like is Almay sells this um, like three pack for people that have hazel colored eyes. Um, I really like that top one and the middle one. That's a really good colors to have as well. Um, ah, ah, I just lost a brush, sorry. Um, this is also, I think it came from Mary Kay, but it, um, but it was a nice little four pack. Um, anyways, um, this is a nice orange that I'll be using, as well as um, kind of a dark burgundy brown. Um, so you can get them from wherever. I don't care where, what kind of makeup it is. Just um, remember dark purple browns, greens, and cream colors are gonna be your friends. Also, you're gonna wanna have some sort of lip liner. I really like red and also a black eyeliner. Sound good? Let's get started. So first, zombies don't really go out in the sun. They're really nice and pallid in color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some pallid going. Gonna go ahead and apply some nice um, whiteness going. Not all over, don't wanna waste my cream. I'm gonna switch off to my cream base. And this is just to give you that nice pallid interpretation of saying, you know what? I have a nice shimmery white coat. Because a lot of times you're gonna be hanging out at those Halloween parties, you're going to be um, in a darker room. You just wanna say, hey, I don't have that nice tan from my summer anymore. So I like to get rid of the brown on my nose. I like to get rid of some of that brown on my cheeks. But I'm staying away from under my eyes. It's okay if I have dark circles in my eyes. I work hard, so, does, so do zombies. <laughs> so, there we go. I got that going for me. And I'm done. Good on the cream. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get some green. Green's totally an accessory color, but you know what? I might have been dead a little longer, so I'm gonna give myself some green. Green's good for wherever. Um, green just gives you that extra little pallid tone. Um, usually green when you're wearing makeup is going to be um, kind of that mid eyeshadow where you kind of put that right here, but now we're just going to put it all over. Green is a good all over tone. You know, zombies are fine with green. I look at right here in my nose. There we 
go. The nice thing about being a zombie is you can't really go wrong with where you put your makeup. So, there you go. Make sure it's nice and blended. The major thing is no sharp points. You don't want any lines going on. So then I'm also going to go ahead and give myself some of that burgundy. Um, and usually burgundy is nice when you're doing that regular makeup and you're giving them that smoky tone right in the corners. Guess what? S same idea for zombies. Go ahead and give yourself some more smoke. I'm going to be a nice evening glam. Or I'm going to go ahead and accentuate that. Rough and tumble. Give yourself that sunken in look. You gotta maybe a little more sallow. Now, I don't happen to have any like umber yellow in my collection of makeup. But if you happen to have any tan or umber, um, you can also add that to your makeup as well. Now this also works really well, um, not only with zombies, but if you're doing any kind of like um, underwater, like sea pirate or anything like that. Um, if you're doing that, you wanna stop now. Um, don't go any further. But I should have added a little more white. I'm seeing now, I'm still a little tan in my makeup, but now I'm gonna go ahead and use the pencils. So eyeliner pencils are usually used on your eyes. Not gonna go near that with my black. So um, the black I'm gonna use around, kind of near my nose, and this is gonna blend in a little too blendy. And this is just going to give me some more dark that the burgundy did not. Just to give some more definition. Again, up here. And the main thing is just to make you look dirty, make you look like you've been crawling through the muck and grime. Again, down here. And then depending on the amount that you are planning on eating or drinking that night at your party or in your mouth, give yourself, I mean, you're a hungry zombie, right? I mean, we have one thing in common. We like that brains. So make sure that give your mouth something a little dirty. So if you're using your makeup, um, for real makeup, you don't want to ruin it. So make sure you're using your pen pencils lightly so not to ruin the tips of them. So after that, go ahead and, oh, this was already ruined. So <laughs> my pencil was already ruined. So um, because this was already ruined, I have a little bit on my finger from my um, red pencil. I'm going to go ahead and overlay a little bit of my red just around here. Give myself some of the yumminess that I was eating earlier because zombies don't use those napkins. Maybe around my nose. Around my face. Dump that. And then I'm gonna take that pencil again and then use my eye pencil don't want to get close to your eyelid on this. Be very careful. And just go ahead and use that underneath around the rim. If you do have a, a nice thin blending brush, you can go ahead and use that. Um, I happen to have one that I can use. Sometimes it doesn't give that good blend that you want. If that's the case, go ahead and use a Q-tip. And that Q-tip generally gives it that nice 
infected pink eye kind of look that you want. So this is the quick and dirty zombie. There you go. Nice, easy, quick. Use your own makeup. Um, save yourself money if you're not looking to be a zombie all the time. There you go. Good luck. Happy Halloween.